Hi, I'm Philip Maxwell, and in this video we'll be discussing harmonics and aspects. Harmonics and aspects are very similar. They both describe how planets interact or come together. The big difference is that a harmonic encapsulates all the aspects that come from dividing the circle by a given number. Take this circle divided by 11, for example. You can have 1 11th aspect, 2 11th aspect, 3 11th aspect, and so on, and these are all considered part of the 11th harmonic. We refer to these divisions as harmonics because we are saying that dividing up the circle by a number creates a frequency. The meaning of the harmonic's value describes the frequency and thus governs how the planets involved combine. My subsequent videos will get into each harmonic individually to give you a better idea of how that works. Coming back to aspects, think of it as a fractional value of a whole circle. The denominator is how we divide the circle and is the aspect's harmonic. The harmonic gives the core meaning of the aspect. The numerator is the number of segments away from the origin within the harmonic. The numerator is like a subharmonic. It carries the same meaning as a harmonic of the same value, but as a nuance. I want to stress that the numerator meaning is largely minutia. Although there are aspects in specific harmonics where the numerator becomes more important, which I will address when I come to those harmonics. What is more important is when three or more planets come together within the same harmonic, because it reinforces that harmonic. Aspects and harmonics don't need to be exact. This is the concept of orbs. Think of tuning a radio. You can be a little bit off the station that you're listening to and still get the signal. Admittedly, it may have some static, but as you get closer and closer, the signal gets clearer. The same applies with orbs. As the angular distance, the planets can be away from a harmonic and still be considered to come together as that harmonic. The orb is always calculated the same way. 16 degrees divided by the harmonic, and this can be on either side. Take the second harmonic, for example. Its orb is 16 degrees divided by 2 for 8 degrees. To give you an idea of what that looks like, you can have an exact opposition, but it can also be either 8 degrees before or 8 degrees after being exact and still be considered under the second harmonic. Vibrational astrology invokes harmonics because it explains things that conventional astrology has been missing. In my upcoming videos, I'll be covering traditional aspects because they still provide insight, and I'll cover newer harmonics, many of which help us understand basic drives that traditional aspects don't. So, for example, an individual can have a very strong 11th harmonic pattern. It doesn't matter whether they are a Taurus, a Sagittarius, or any other sign. This will be someone who is constantly restless, on the move, and needing to do something new and dynamic. Understanding this gives the possibility of better harnessing its potential, minimizing the restlessness, and shifting even more towards dynamism. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. You can also hit subscribe and the notification bell if you want to be informed of future content. I hope you have a great day and find the right astrology concepts that open your mind.